Hi, I'm Elsie, and I'll explain the interpretation phase of LCA. Interpretation is the fourth phase of LCA, but it's also performed during the first, second, and third phase. But how does that work? Let's dive in. During the interpretation phase, you interpret, or give meaning to, your LCA study. This essentially consists of two things. Assessing the results of your study and translating those to useful insights, but also assessing every step in the study critically and adapting these where necessary. Critically assessing the LCA study. Together with the goal and scope phase, the interpretation phase gives your study direction and guidance. For example, imagine a fermentation process during beer production. At the start of the process, it's decided what kind of beer is produced, and therefore also all process parameters ingredients, fermentation duration, temperature, etc. You could see this as the goal and scope phase in LCA. After the process has started, you can't just let the process run and check on the beer in the end. You need to monitor the process continuously to see if everything is going according to plan or if something needs to be adjusted to make sure you end up with quality beer you can sell. In LCA, interpretation functions as the quality control. With every step you take, Take the time to reflect your choices critically and see if they are in line with the goal and scope. If not, you might want to rethink them or maybe even go back and change the goal and scope to fit your study better. This way, LCA is an iterative process. Interpreting LCA results. Next to quality control, the interpretation phase also helps you obtain insights from your LCA results. Two types of analysis are often used. Contribution analysis and sensitivity analysis. During contribution analysis, you assess how much different components of your model contribute to the total impact. This can give you insights in impact hotspots that might be good places to start for impact reduction. With sensitivity analysis, you test assumptions or uncertain elements in your model to see the difference in results if these elements would change. Essentially, you test the uncertainty of your results. This is often done by copying your model and changing the selected element to a possible alternative. If you're using LCA to investigate impact improvement measures, you could also use this technique to explore the potential improvement of these measures. Both types of analysis give insights, but they also function as a check of your model. Unexpected results should be investigated further and might lead to changes in earlier phases of the LCA. Going back to our beer production example, apart from producing beer, producers are also continuously looking for ways to improve the beer and the production processes the end of the interpretation process. After critically assessing your LCA results and study, it's time to conclude on your study and document the obtained insights, limitations, and interesting suggestions for future research. This marks the end of the interpretation phase. However, if your LCA is being verified, the external verifier might require extra interpretation for elements not sufficiently justified in your study. In this video, I've explained the interpretation phase and that the main aims are quality control and results interpretation. Do you want to know more about this topic? Check out our other resources. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with the rest of your LCA journey.